Thanks for being with us here on CBS News Chicago. I'm Marisa Vedra, and we are joining you with another one of our interviews of the aldermanic candidates as we look ahead to the April 4th runoff election in the city of Chicago. Joining us now is Pastor Richard Wooten, who is running in the sixth ward to become alderman. Thank you for your time, Pastor. Thank you for having me today. I want to start off by asking why you want to be alderman. You know, all my adult life, I've been a servant. I served in the United States Army and uh, served in the Desert Storm War. After I came home from the Desert Storm War, I was blessed to become a Chicago police officer. There I served for 23 years serving the city of Chicago. I'm a block club president. I'm a community leader. I'm the president of the Greater Chatham Alliance, executive director of the Gathering Point Community Council. All my adult life I've been serving and I'm just not finished yet. God still has some work for me. What would you say is the number one issue within the sixth ward and what is your solution to combat it? You know, we're just like the rest of the Chicago. Uh, we're living in a position where we don't have peace in our community. Public safety is the number one issue, not just in our ward, but throughout our city. And we have to address those things. Being a Chicago police officer for 23 years and being the beat liaison for the sixth district under the CAPS program, I do understand how to resolve crime. I mean, after all, I've done it uh, as the beat liaison officer in the 6th District in 2006 to throughout to 2011, where I was able to actually bring uh, the community, or the district rather, I should say, from being number 17 out of 25 districts with the worst turnover in uh, solving crime and community uh, engagement to being number two in the city uh, with the most crimes being solved and the most uh, people being engaged in problem solving. So I have the uh, tools and I have the know-how and the experience to do this. Voters ousted an incumbent mayor. This class of uh, city council is going to be filled with a lot of new people. How does that context affect how you're looking at this job should you be elected? Well, you know, um, if you're asking me uh, as far as dealing with a new mayor, being engaged with the people will help me deal with whoever's on that fifth floor. Uh, being able to um, have a relationship with the mayor would be very important. So whoever is actually going to be the mayor, you know, we're going to be ready on day one to actually work with the mayor to make our city safer. And more so, uh, importantly, the uh, sixth ward. Candidate for the sixth ward, Richard Wooten. Pastor, thank you so much again for being with us. Thank you very much. Joining us now is the second of two pastors running to be alderman in the sixth ward. Mr. William Hall joins us. Thank you for being with us. Thank you so much for having me. Why do you want to be alderman? Well, I want to be the alderman to make the ward a better place. I've lived in this ward, lived on the same block for 38 years of my life, and I've seen the, the difference. We went from parks to police, police presence to solve murders. We went from thriving businesses to board ups. And last but not least, I've went witnessed seniors go from happy to sad simply because they can't leave their homes and the things that they come to know in the sixth ward are no longer present. So I want this ward to be a safer ward, a ward where education is in the forefront and thriving businesses. And to have the opportunity to do it as the alderman is a humbling uh, invitation, but something I've been prepared for for, for a long time now. Mr. Hall, what would you say is the number one issue um, that the Sixth Ward is facing right now, and what is your solution? Yeah, number one is safety. Uh, one of the things that I keep hearing as I'm knocking doors and listening to people is that they want to be able to enjoy the ward. And so one of the things that we're going to do is bring back strategic policing, policing that includes present, a presence of police officers walking the streets, bike riding. We want north side strategy in the Sixth Ward. When I go downtown, I see police present. I see police responding to calls immediately. And then also I see stationary police, police that are strategically placed, sirens on, if necessary, throughout the entire downtown um, uh, ward. And so we want that same strategy in our ward, stationary police, police that are walking and present, and then thirdly, police that are listening to the residents, as well as the block clubs and community organizations. Also, we're going to make our ward brighter. 
I wore this dark. Uh, we are grateful for the work of uh, Senator LG Sims throughout his career. He's invested in lighting. Um, and so we're going to look at state funding formula, county funding formula, as well as even a federal funding formula to improve the lighting in the ward. What good is the cameras on the homes and residents and even the city cameras if you cannot capture anything because it's dark? The third thing when we talk about safety, we must look at vehicular safety. Uh, since starting this campaign, I've been to the scene of at least six uh, instances in which cars drove into the homes of residents. That's because we don't have bright uh, signage. We don't have speed bumps in areas that need it. And so residents are concerned whether or not they're going to wake up with a car in their living room or in their TV room. So we want to make the ward safer through, uh, through vehicular signage as well as a strategy that slows vehicles down. Voters ousted the incumbent mayor. There's going to be a huge number of new aldermen on the city council that could include you. And how does that newness affect how you're looking at this job should you be elected? Yeah, I think that that's what Chicago wants. Chicago is tired of old politics. Uh, Chicago is tired of candidates that run more, multiple times. Uh, Chicago is looking for new wind, new, new ideas, new energy. And I represent that. I represent the ideas of the now. Uh, and the next generation, and the wisdom of what anchors our sixth ward. I grew up on a block with Mammy Teal. So it's the stories and the insight of Mammy Teal that grounds me. It's the energy of just my youthfulness that pushes me, but also it's building an intergenerational ward, a new ward that includes voices of our elders, our young people, as well as preparing it for the next generation. That's what Chicago wants. Chicago wants new ideas, new leadership, and new commitment to people that brings results. We don't, we're tired even in this ward of the same faces, same ideas, same rhetoric. Pastor William Hall running for alderman for the sixth ward. We appreciate your time. Thank you so much, CBS. I appreciate you as well. And be sure to stay with us here on CBS News Chicago as we continue to profile the candidates leading up to Chicago's runoff municipal election on April 4th.